Welcome to the So What Box, where we help you discover the fun and creativity of sewing and improve your sojo. My name's Taylor, and in this video, we are going to learn how to upcycle boring pullover sweatshirts and long sleeve tees into button down sweaters and cardigans. First, you will need to choose a sweater or long sleeve t-shirt that is a size or two too large. Let's first work with a normal pullover sweater. Let's lay this out folded in half along the front center line. Let's use the bottom hem line and the side seams to feel and line these up to get a nice line right up the center of this sweatshirt. You can use the side seams to match them up and create a center line up the middle and then iron. Once that center line is cut, all we need to do is iron over about an inch towards the inside on both sides of this cut front line. We can also use a normal long sleeve t-shirt instead of a thick sweater. Let's take a look at how we would do this process on a thinner material long sleeve t-shirt. Rather than ironing over both of these edges, I am going to use some ribbon to bind these raw edges and keep them from raveling. You can finish the edge in this way by simply folding the lace over the cut edge and making sure that you have half of the lace on each side of that raw edge. Pin this in place and then sew right down along the lace. If working with a turtleneck sweater, you will do much the same thing. Just remember to continue folding in half, going all the way up to the top of the turtleneck, and then cut completely in half as well. We will start to finish this turtleneck in the same way that we started to finish the normal pullover sweater. Fold over about one inch towards the inside of the sweater all the way from the top of the turtleneck down to the bottom of the sweater and iron in place. Then take your seam ripper and undo the seam along the bottom of the turtleneck up until your crease that you made with the iron. Then you will turn the top part of the turtleneck inside of itself, iron flat and pin and keep the bottom part of the sweater just turned in towards the inside. The next step on both this turtleneck and the regular sweater is to sew down along the front about three quarters of an inch in from the folded edge. You can use a decorative stitch from your sewing machine at this point in order to give your project a personalized feel. Time to pick out buttons! You will need between four and six buttons depending on how you want to arrange your buttons and the size of your garment. Once you've chosen the buttons that you want, go ahead and lay them out on the front of your garment in the places that you want them to be. Then you get to use pins as markers for these placements. Make sure to use a pin in equal spots on both sides of the front opening. Once you decide which side to put the buttonholes and the buttons on, we can start making buttonholes. You will make a buttonhole at each pin on the side that you want buttonholes. Use these buttonhole settings to start out. 
You will want to start with the end, then go the length of the width of your button on the right side, then do another end, and then go all the way back on the left side. Then you can cut out the center of this hole. Make sure that you do not cut any of the threads that you just made. We can also use the sewing machine to put on the buttons. Go ahead and put your sewing machine setting onto a zigzag stitch that is very short so that the sewing machine will not move forward as it goes from side to side. Then you can maneuver onto one of your pin markers and place the button underneath the presser foot. Align the holes of the button so that the needle will go down into each hole as it goes side to side. Make sure that you are using your hand knob on the side of the sewing machine rather than the foot pedal for this step. Once you have these buttons done, you are all finished and can enjoy your new upcycled fashion statement.